all right what is happening everybody so this video is candlesticks part one and now as you all know candlesticks are just a pure form of looking at the charts but what candlesticks entails is it's just purely the prices on the right hand side okay now by looking at this beautiful image i draw for you guys on the chart i would like you guys to take note of the high and the low firstly and then the same on the bearish candlestick is also the high and the low now the high and the low basically is just the highest form the highest price level that the candle could have reached in that specific time period for example if you're on a 30 minute time frame or 15 minute time frame in that 15 minutes that is the highest price point that the candle that, that the candle could have reached so if i place a horizontal line at the top of this and you can see to the right hand side the highest price of this um, bullish run could have reached is 1852.27 but then it pulled back a little bit to 185.192 now this difference in price points really isn't important I'm just trying to explain to you the formation of candlesticks now exactly the same with the low let's use the bearish candle on the low example so the low would then be 1849.53 and then this is where it closed this is when the candlestick closed for example you'll see on the right hand side we see a, a countdown timer now that is when the candlestick is closing so that's why i always say we enter on a closing candlestick we don't want to enter on a moving candlestick because a lot of times you'll see the market comes in with a lot of bullish momentum at first and then just coming back down creating a big fat wick with rejection to the downside and then price going down against us so that is why i always say wait for candlestick to close and as you can see the body is in between now the body is the realized volume meaning there's orders that took place for this price to go up there has been buyers from this level to this level there's been more bias from this level sorry from this level to this level now exactly sellers there's been sellers from this level to this level more sellers not just sellers more sellers and more buyers okay oh my bad did i just erase all yeah i think i did okay so anyway um this this is also the high let me just my ocd is killing me guys okay now as you can see this is a full formation of a candlestick now the open and the close you can see are two different sides when a, when a bullish candle opens it opens at the downside because obviously the trend is going up so it has to open here and go up with a wick now exactly the same with a bearish trend um, if we have a bearish trend forming the open is going to be at most probably at the close of the previous candlestick nine times out of ten except if there's like big manipulation happening or there is some sort of gap in the market or fundamental event but you don't need to really um really be wary of that okay now one thing i want you guys to take note of is that the markets are fractal meaning what happens on one time frame happens on other time frame. for example if this is a daily time frame there's going to be a bunch majority of the candles is going to be majority of the smaller time frame candles is going to be bearish okay i hope you guys took note of this i'm going to erase all of this this one here delete this one here let's use a bullish bullish movement let's say this is my daily time frame then in my daily time frame i'm going to be having a bunch of smaller bullish um candlesticks but you're also going to have some bearish movements because the day is still occurring the day is still happening and this we're going to discuss this in more detail on 
the other videos. But this is basically oh my God, I screwed up right. This is basically going to be how formations look inside of a daily candlestick. Something like this. Okay? So what happens on this time frame happens on this time frame as well. So let's say this is a 30 minute time frame. Then obviously the lower time frame such as the 5 minute is going to have smaller time smaller candlesticks inside of this one. So each candlestick has a candlestick inside of this candlestick. Unless you have a, like a 1 second candlestick but we're not even looking at that. I don't think yeah, they do have 1 second but we're not even looking at 1 second. The lowest we will ever go is probably 5 minutes but that is very rare. So for example, let's just use another example. Um, exactly the same example as I just used, but this is the four hour. So in the four hour candle is going to be eight 30 minute candles. Okay. Now this candle is going to be um, that wick or my bad you guys get the point okay one two three four five six and then maybe let's just create the wick seven eight okay that's a little bit of a bigger wick but like I got like I say guys I'm not Picasso <laughs> I'm just trying my best over here so that is something like how the 4 hour candle will be formed then but on the 30 minute so that is why we always enter on the lower time frames we use the higher time frames to give our bias but then we enter on the lower time frames okay so I hope this made sense um, we, we're slowly diving into the more detailed stuff but the, these are all introductory um, terms so I hope you guys enjoyed please take some notes like I always say take notes take notes and if you have any questions, remember to ask on the community, we're all here to help.